Hi, I'm Justin. Looks like you want to learn how to create really cool menus for your WordPress site. In this video my friend Amar is going to show you how you can create this using Elementor Pro, using its built-in menu widget feature. By the way, in case you don't know, Elementor is one of the best page builders and easiest to use for WordPress. Any changes made in Elementor are shown as you make them, so this will make editing much easier. At the end of this video I will also be providing you a free access code to my paid internet marketing membership club. So make sure to listen for the code and instructions at the end. Okay, so without further delay, take it away Amar. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can create different menus using the nav menu widget of Elementor Pro plugin. Okay, so this is very very important and this is very strong for the first time using a plugin using a page builder you can actually create a menu this was not possible before this okay so i i'll show you in depth about everything uh, about everything about this particular widget so that you can use uh, it and create a menu according to your choice For example i have created two different examples this is the first one okay so here i have created a transparent menu as you can see this is a transparent menu i have added some animations when I hover this, I, I get a very beautiful animation. I have also, I'll also show you how to add different animation and different option to sub menus. This is the second option, the regular menu. Okay, and this is 100% mobile friendly. Let me show you. Okay, so this is, as you can see in mobile, this is how it will look. Very, very useful. Okay, so this is mobile friendly. This is 100% awesome. You can create any kind of menu. You can give many, that many different types of animations that you can give to this particular menu. Okay, now before proceeding further, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any further videos. Okay, with that being said, let's get started. So to do so first I'll create a page, a blank page so that I can show you everything step by step and make sure you select page builder blank from the template because you don't want the menu to be shown at the top, we want our own custom menu. If you select anything else then you'll get the menu, okay so we don't want that, we want to create our own menu. Now click on edit with Elementor. As you can see over here, I already have a template installed. So I will be working over here and show you how to add. First we will see how to add a transparent menu. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to drag this nav menu at the top of whatever this is. So this is the text and we will drag this at the top of this text. So as you can see over here, we have our menu and this is transparent. Okay. So let's see all the settings over here. The first one is layout settings. If you have multiple menus, you can select your menu, whichever menu you want to be shown over here. I have only one menu, so I'm getting only one option, the main menu option. You can also change the layout option. By default, it is set to horizontal. You can make it vertical. Okay, so this is how it will look like. You can also uh, make it drop down. We will be using this drop down thing when we create a menu for mobile later on in this video. Now let's again make it horizontal. You can also change the alignment. By default it is set to right. You can uh, make it center. Uh, by default it is set to left. You can also make it center. Right, right, justified, whatever you like, okay? So let me make it right side, okay? I hope you guys can see this menu over here, okay? Now the next one is pointer option. By default it is set to underline. Let me show you what that is. When I hover this menu, any of the menu item, as you can see, there is an animation. The color of the uh, menu item changes and there is a line at the bottom, okay? So that is underline. You can change that to overline. Now the line will be at the top as you can see. There are many different, for example, framed one. When you select this, this happens. Now let's select a different one. For example, instead of frame one, let's select background. And when you select background, this is what happens. Okay, so we have different pointer options. And for each pointer options, there are different animation. For example, we selected background. And for background, we have different animation. By default, it is set to fade, as you can see. Now we can change this to grow. 
okay so now hover and you can see the animation has changed you can also change this to different uh, things like sweep right now let's again hover and as you can see the animation has again changed so you can select any animation you want now select the next option which is sub menu indicator which is nothing but this over here if you see besides fashion that arrow that is the sub menu indicator so it indicates that this particular menu has a sub menu okay so you can change that it is set to classic now you can change to Chevron angel plus if you want a plus sign uh, besides that menu you can also have that okay now here is the mobile drop down we'll see this later first we'll see all the desktop settings then we'll move on to mobile setting now go to style the first thing is we have to change the color of this menu item so that we can see on our screen because it is by default set to a light gray which we cannot see on this particular background so let's select well let's change the text color to white now as you can see it looks much better we can see it more clearly fine now is the typography option if you want to change the size of the menu you can change it from here it's all up to you okay you can make it small bigger you can also change the font family let's select roboto okay i like roboto you can also change the weight if you want to make it thinner you can select 400 or 500 okay if you can change the style you can change the line height you can also add some spacing let's add some letter spacing okay as you can see look this looks much better okay you can add some horizontal vertical padding let me show you what this is see let me make it zero so when i make it zero as you can see there is no gap between any of the menu so when i increase the horizontal uh, padding the gap between the menu item increases and let's make vertical padding zero when we put vertical padding zero all the padding at the top and bottom becomes zero so let's increase this also okay very important settings now space between as you can see space between the menus border radius we don't have any border so we don't need a border radius now this is the first option normal hover and active so we have say, seen the normal options now let's go to hover options first one is text color so we want white text color fine now pointer color i want a different pointer color so i'll select anything like this like uh, this pink color maybe fine now let's see the changes okay as you can see now when i hover this i get this color now let's make it more lighter fine so this looks much better so you can change your hover options from here okay then we have active option active is basically for example let's see over here this is the seo page is active over here so what options do you want so here the active option is you can see the background color is white and the text color is gray so that is what it is so here if it is uh, home page then what you want so we want the same option as the hover option the background color should be red and the text color should be white fine so let's copy this red color the same red color from here go to active so we want our text color to remain same and we want our pointer color to become red now let's change all these settings over here let's save all these settings over here now let's see this page in a new tab so that we can understand the changes which have taken place so click on this x button select view page okay as you can see here we have our menu so all the options are there this is particularly a page we don't have this page in the menu that's why we are not seeing the active setting but you can see all the animation all the hover effects and so on so this is how you do that okay now let's change all the sub menu settings again come back over here now minimize this main menu and select this drop down okay normal thing normal thing we want our background uh, the text color to be white so let's select text color and here as you can see the background color is white we don't want any background color so select the background color that two option first is the color option and the second in the, is the opacity or overlay option now i want to make the second option as 
is transparent so i'll drag that to the bottom now again let's go back over there and as you can see the text color has become white there is no background color and we can see a hover color when we see hover when we hover our sub menu we can see this uh, gray color i want to change that color to the red color the same color which we have over there okay so go to hover text color will be white background color will be the same red color fine now let's see over here now as you can see the changes have taken place you can also add a box shadow if you make this on now let's scroll if you i don't know if you could see this or not there is a box shadow let me increase uh, the uh, the space between all these things so that you can see all uh, everything much better so let's select this one this text go to advanced and let's add some uh, some uh, padding at the top so first dealing this let's add 250 pixels at the top now you can see much better so let's click on save now i hope you can see this thing much better the box shadow there is a box shadow to this uh, sub menu you can also add it to this menu or so on wherever you want okay so this was the transparent menu okay click on save go back to this page refresh okay now let's see okay looks fine better and here also it looks better okay so this is how you create a menu a transparent menu now if you see this uh, there is also a logo over here so let's add that come back to this page now here what you have to do how over this uh, to add a new column and click on this plus button so it will add a new column okay so this is also dividing this into two columns no problem press ctrl z okay first drag this columns at the top okay so that uh, problem won't exist now bring this particular element under this uh, column fine as you can see over here your menu is here now increase the size of that column so that the menu fits much better okay this is looking much better now let's add our logo over here so go back drag this image under this particular column okay now you can click on over here to choose any image let's select this one click on insert media okay go to style and in fact first let's change the alignment to left you can also link in fact you should link it to a custom url and you should put your home page url okay so this is my home page url let me copy and paste it over here because whenever you click on over here you expect to go to the main home page okay so make sure you don't miss this thing very important it is now go to style now you can change the size of this icon or this logo from here okay you can also increase or decrease the opacity okay to whatever you like you can add a hover animation for example grow now whenever i hover over this logo you can see that animation okay now same options are repeated again and again click on save fine this is how it looks in uh, on a desktop but how does it look on a mobile phone let's see that click on this desktop icon now select mobile okay so this is how it looks on a mobile you have your logo over here you have this thing over here now i want to change this i want my logo to be seen in the middle when someone is uh, browsing my website on a mobile phone so select this thing select your logo okay go to content select center alignment and i also want to increase the size of my logo on mobile phone fine so this looks much better i also want to increase in fact let me do one thing let me do a very nice trick let's make the alignment right select this uh, button this toggle bar okay and let me let's make this alignment as left okay so here is the alignment let's make it left or sorry this is toggle bar so let's make it left from here this is the mobile drop down okay so you have to make all these changes related to this over here under mobile drop down okay now 
what I'll do, I'll go to style. Don't want the mid menu. I want the drop down, the toggle button. So I'll select the toggle button. I'll increase the size. As you can see, the changes are taking place. Fine. Now I'll increase, uh, I'll change the color. Okay, so I want the color to be white. And I want the background color to be dark gray. As you can see over here, the changes are taking place. Now what I want, I want my logo, my this toggle bar uh, over here. So what I'll do, I'll go to advance. I'll select, I'll first delink everything. Now I'll put a top margin as 30. And before 30, I'll put a minus sign. Okay, so this brings it a, a, lit, a little upper. Now I'll increase this to 50, so minus 50, okay? So let me make it uh, minus 150. So it has gone more up, I don't want that. I want, let's make 100, okay? So you just have to see, okay, 110 looks perfect. Okay, so when you put 110, you can see your menu is over here and your logo is over here. Okay, so this is how it will look on a mobile phone. Don't focus on all these things because uh, we are not focusing on all these things in this particular tutorial. We are focusing only on the menu. Okay, so this is how your menu will look like on a mobile phone. You can increase and decrease all these spaces, obviously. Okay, fine. So this is how it will look. This looks amazing. But don't worry, your desktop changes are still the same. No changes have taken place. Let me show you. Let's again search, select this option, let's select desktop. And here as you can see the changes are same. Okay, so that was for mobile phone. Now let's click on save. Okay guys, so this was very very important step. Now let's create this second menu very quickly. This, this one uh, with a background color and so on. So what I'll do, let me create a new page for this. So let's go to your dashboard. Okay. Hover pages, click on add new. Let me put any title like menu 2. Now from template, select uh, page builder blank. Click on publish. Click on edit with Elementor. Okay, so it's a blank page. I want to add a template. I have my own template. So let me install that. This is the one about page. I, if you want these templates, you can see a link in the video description below and you can get all these things for free, okay? So this is how a page looks like a normal about us page. Very beautiful this one is. Now I want to add a normal menu like uh, which we'll be using in most of the website. This is the one. Okay, so first what I'll do, I want, uh, I won't drag my main menu over here. I'll create a new section, okay? So I'll click on this plus button, a new section will be added and I'll drag my nav menu over here, fine? So this is how it looks like. Now all the options are same again and again. We won't be seeing that, we'll all only see the style option because that is more important. Okay, so normal one, we want the text color to be maybe white. Okay, so we have the text color is white. As you can see, the text color is white. You can change the typography, pointer width and so on. Now what I'll do, I'll change the background color of this whole section. So I'll select this edit section, go to style, background color, go to color, dark gray, okay? Or maybe black and let's decrease the opacity of this black. Okay, so this is how you can do it. Now let's make this also right align, so uh, click on this menu. Here is the alignment, make it right align. Okay, now let's see, this is how the sub menu looks like. We don't want it like this. Okay, so go to style. Select this drop down menu. Select the color as white. And the background color as black and just decrease the opacity. Now let's see this. Okay, so this looks much much better. Now let's change the hover effect. Okay, so go to content, the pointer at present is the default underline. So let's make it background. Okay, because here we have the background option. Okay, now as you can see, and I want to change the color. Okay, why? Because I want the negative effect. Here, the, the background color is black. 
and the text color is white but when we hover this the background color becomes white and the text color becomes black so that is the uh, design which i want okay fine so let's go to style fine go to hover text color we want it black and pointer color we want it white fine now let's see as you can see over here text color becomes black and the pointer color becomes white fine now what i'll do i'll increase some padding the vertical padding okay let's increase this okay this looks much better fine you can also do this same for the drop down okay for example here the drop down settings are different you can also make the same for the drop down so this is how you do it and i want to change some more settings let me show you first let's first save all the settings okay click on this x button view this page in a new tab click on view page okay so this is how our menu looks like at present if you see there is when we select this there is a gap at top and bottom i don't want that gap so that what i'll do i'll select this edit section button go to style now here you'll see column gap okay select no gap now when i hover this there is no gap at all fine so this is the setting which we need to do click on save now again click on menu because uh, here as you can see the menu size is very small let's increase the size of the menu like this one go to style okay go to typography let's increase the size fine to 24 and also increase the letter spacing this looks much better okay so this really looks awesome let's also change the active setting here as you can see this page is active and here the background color is white and the text color is black so that is the setting which we want so we want the background color to be white and the pointer color to be black okay so whenever there is active uh, page like this one this is this will be the setting click on save okay now here if you don't want to add your logo you can also add a text for that again I'll just add a new column okay first drag this column over here okay fine let's increase the size of this column and here again come back add your heading over here and whatever you want just type in over here fine so it says near let's change this style text color to white and make sure you link this thing uh, to the home page very very important so select your home page link from here and this becomes a link which is very very important guys don't forget you can also make it center align left align whatever you like click on save changes now let's see how this looks on a mobile phone so select your mobile from here okay so this is how it looks i want this thing in the middle which is fine i just want to increase the size of this one okay so what i'll do i'll go to style i'll just minimize this one i'll maximize the toggle button and increase the size everything is fine i just want to increase the size i also want to increase the size of my heading of uh, my logo whatever it is instead of logo and i want to make it center align okay go to style typography increase the size of this one also fine click on save let's again go to desktop this looks awesome okay so the last setting is that you whatever menu you have for example the last menu which we created or this menu you have to save this okay so how you do you just go to this section hover this section click on save section you can name it anything for example menu 2 click on save fine now when you whenever you create a new page for example we created this new page okay this menu was not there so on every page you have to add a menu obviously you want your menu on every page so how you do that 
you click on add section and now you don't start creating a new menu just go to add template my template and select menu 2 click on insert and you have your menu over here Alright guys, so this is it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you learned something from this tutorial. If this tutorial was helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also give a thumbs up to this video. If you have any doubt, any questions, any queries, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching. Wow, that was easy. Now you know how to create some really cool menus with Elementor Pro. I have a link in the description below if you want to get the free or pro version of Elementor. You will need the pro version if you want to create the menus shown in the video. If you are just starting out and need hosting and a domain name, make sure to check out the link below for SiteGround Hosting. You will find they have very fast and reliable hosting for a great price. They also have a lot of very positive reviews, so that should mean they are doing something right. Also to get the free or pro version of Elementor, see the link in the description below. Finally, since you took the time to watch this video till the end, you can access some of my paid courses for free today. You just need to look for the link in the description that says, Free, Private, Access. Once you click on that link, you will see an access web page. All you need to do to gain free access to the private membership club is type in 7, 6, 5, 4. You can then join my internet marketing membership club for free. I also listed some other very useful information below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and don't forget to like and click the notification bell to get updates. I should also mention that I have a video on using Elementor with WordPress, so look for it in the links below so you can get started fast. Okay, until next time, take care.